Hi Taurus, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general reading for the month of June and onwards. This is for any Taurus looking for any guidance and messages in their daily lives. Remember if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. It will help with the algorithm so I can get more viewers. It's only to make the channel better for everyone, okay? So, uh, I really appreciate it. And also, right now we're going to be doing our table views. I just had head surgery, so I won't be doing any face uh, table views until maybe a couple months. So please uh, be patient. If you'd like to see the old style, I will be back to that format. Uh, at some point later on okay and do leave me in the comments here if you do appreciate these new table style readings with just uh, the cards in my hands uh, maybe i'll be able to uh, do both okay so sorry let's find out what we need to know for you taurus let's get these cards sorted out here universe let's find out what we need to know for taurus i'm going to draw one card here today from the moonology oracle deck then we're going to draw three cards from the Jumbo Rider Weight and then three cards each for the smaller Rider Weight, okay? So your message for this month and onwards, Taurus, is the answers you need are coming. Okay, it's Full Moon and Gemini here. The answers you need are coming. What do you need to know, Taurus? What do you need to know? Are you looking for advice in relationships? Are you looking for... A new career path? Are you looking for answers in regards to a new job that you just applied for? Or whether or not you're going to stay in this job? How about in your existing relationships? Or the home and family? Will you have another child? Will you be moving? Could be anything. So let's find out what we need to know here. All you need to know, Taurus, is the answers are coming to which you seek here. All right, so I'm going to show one more shuffle here. And let's find out what we need to know for you, okay? So, <laughs> a little bit tricky. Universe, let's find a message for Taurus. I'm just going to give a quick shuffle here. What messages do we need to know for Taurus for the month of June? Okay, so we have the full card for you first here. Move that aside for now. That is the Fool. Okay. What else do we need to know for Taurus? Universe, please give me another message here for Taurus, please. What else do we need to know for Taurus? I'm seeing this. We have the King of Swords in reverse. One more card, please. What else do we need to know for Taurus? Universe. Please give me one more card. We have the Three of Pentacles, okay? So, Taurus, what do we have for you here? Remember, the answers you need are coming for you this month. So, I'm definitely seeing a lot of you are going on a new journey, of course. Something new, a new enterprise, a new job opportunity. You could be moving, you could be doing something new, going on a vacation this month. Okay, I'm getting a lot of excitement here, new energy, some creativity even, new beginnings, okay? You're jumping ahead maybe a little bit too fast, but definitely inspired here, okay? There's a lightheartedness energy with this uh, card here, so very uh, innocent. And this is going to be a new approach that maybe you're going to be having for the month of June. Some of you I see are going on a trip or something or 
going to do something fun, all right? For others, you could be getting a new job or even new love. So next here, we have the King of Swords in reverse. So for a lot of you, I'm seeing that you may be dealing with an air sign here, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person may be someone who's a bit controlling to you right now that you're dealing with here. They could be a little bit mean and forceful with the way that they approach things with you. They could also be a liar here. I could see someone who could be a liar here. And they're not being honest about something I'm getting, but we'll get some more clarifiers here, okay? There may be someone here who has other intentions or maybe they're selfish even. And this could be someone in your group of friends or a work environment for some of you. Could also be family, okay? With the three of pentacles here. I'm seeing that some of you may be doing something together here. So this could be a group trip. This could be a group uh, meeting or something at work here or friends, okay? And if it's new love, uh, it could be even two people. So let's figure out what we need to know here, what your answers are. What kind of answers do you need to know here? All right, let's find out. We're gonna get some clarifiers. We're gonna start with the full card for you first, Taurus. Universe, let's find out what we need to know for Taurus. Let's get some clarifiers out, please. Your first clarifier will be the Six of Wands in reverse. All right, let's get two more. Universe, please give me a message here. Let's get some clarifiers for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know? We have the Knight of Cups. All right, and one more, please. We have the Page of Pentacles. Sorry, put the siren there. It's a busy city here. We'll put that aside for now. So, in regards to the Fool, your clarifiers are telling me here that there could be some sort of missed opportunity for some of you. Some of you didn't find success in what you were doing before here, so you're finding that you need to take this new opportunity now if it's in regards to a career or relationship here. Some of you want to try something new because you weren't doing well in what you were doing before. Okay? And it could be like maybe you avoiding people even. Maybe you're going to be traveling alone for some of you. Some of you may decide that uh, you just need a break from what everyday life here and you want to just go out on your own. And that's okay. This could be you taking a break from work, okay? Taking that break because you're just tired of working hard and you know everyone recognizes that you're doing well, but you may need that time out for some of you. Some of you feel as if you're not being utilized in what you were doing here before, so you're going to find a new opportunity here. Okay. It's going to be something that you definitely feel passionate about and it's going to make you very happy, something that you'll be very content, okay? So if this was a trip, like I said, it's going to be very heartful. You're going to feel as if, you know, all these memories are going to be coming in. I'm getting here for some of you. I'm getting that you're going to be extremely happy. Uh, it's going to bring a lot of joy to you. And definitely healing for some of you. Okay. And for others, uh, there could be a love offer. That we're not going to deny that. There could be love coming in for some of you. This could be a new suitor here for you, Taurus. Somebody here. You may feel as if, you know, in the past, you've been trying really hard to attract suitors. Some of you may find that there is an opportunity coming in. Someone is coming in with some sort of offer here to you that you weren't expecting or that you weren't working towards, okay? And it may not even be someone from your group of friends. This could be someone new maybe possibly. And with the Page of Pentacles here, I'm seeing some sort of opportunity here for some of you that 
could gain you some uh, new skills or finances here, okay? So you could be a learning experience. Again, uh, this new love could also be an earth sign. So another Taurus could be another Taurus for you, Taurus, or Capricorn or Virgo, okay? And we can't rule out another water sign here too. So Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So something about you attaining something, even getting a gift here or some sort of new skill and something that you're going to start off with. Something exciting and has potential, of course. Okay. All of this is potential here. New beginnings, new love, new career new home, whatever it is, new trip, new opportunity, vacation, whatever it is, this is going to bring you some new opportunities here. You could find yourself falling in love on a trip. You can find yourself having some sort of, uh, you know, new career path that's going to really be exciting for you and will bring you joy. And there's money involved, but maybe it's not too much, but it's going to be at least something of a start for you. Okay. So really exciting there, Taurus. Let's take a look and see what we need to know here about the King of Swords in reverse here. What other answers does Taurus need to know? What answers are coming for Taurus? Universe, please, let's get another card here. We have the Sun in reverse. Very well. What else do we need to know? I have the Judgment card in reverse. And one more card, please. Please clarify the King of Swords universe. Let's get one more card for Taurus. Oh, it's too many. We're not taking those. <laughs> All right, let's get a clear message here for Taurus, please. All right, we got one. Oh, guess what? It's the Fool, but in reverse. Okay. So, Taurus. Very interesting. Three major arcana as your clarifiers for the King of Swords. So I was discussing about this could possibly potentially be a person here, an air sign, okay? Someone who's either causing some sort of issues or drama for you. They may be someone who's lying or keeping information from you or someone who's very controlling and possessive. They may be using information to control people, okay? Or manipulate others. This could be a boss energy. This could be a father figure. This could be someone in your life who is a major influence for you, okay? I'm seeing that this person isn't happy, of course. They're driven by some sort of pain or some sort of unhappiness where they're inflicting pain on others. There may be here an issue with them wanting to succeed over you. So they may be taking advantage of you in that sense, okay? For others, it could just be that they are just very uh, jealous or they don't like to see other people happy. So these types of people usually like to inflict that pain back onto other people, okay? Including you. And here with the judgment card, you know what? They have issues. This person that they're, you're dealing with may have issues with um, seeing the full picture here. I'm feeling like they're not able to let things go even. So they may hold a grudge here. And of course, you're going to be judging them for what their actions are, okay? Based on what they've done to you and what they've done to you over time. So whatever this person's done here, okay, they're not realizing what they're doing even. There's an oppression energy here I'm getting. <clears throat> they're possibly the reason why you need to take on some sort of new thing here I'm seeing. This could also be a separate matter that you're dealing with here, okay? There may be issues with them trying to change some sort of bad habits here, some sort of realization that they haven't really come to. And this person isn't able to move forward or have any new beginnings. So the exact opposite of what you're going through right now. Okay. And this could be even a partner for some of you, an ex that maybe 
uh, is lingering here for some of you. This could be a boss, this could be a parent or father or some sort of sibling rivalry or a friend that's, or even someone close by to you that's doesn't have your best interest at heart here, okay? And it's more like they're just trying to sabotage you in some way or making it difficult for you because they're just a bit miserable, <laughs> okay? That's what I'm getting here. All right, so watch out for this person if they're around. Please, you have the ability to make whatever choices. Just be aware, okay? So, Taurus, let's see what else we have for you here. Let's find out more about the Three of Pentacles. What does Taurus need to know for the Three of Pentacles, please? Universe, let's get some clarifiers. Okay, this card came out first. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, next card, please. Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And let's get one more card here. In reverse, let's get one more card for the Three of Pentacles. Let's get one more clarifier, please, for the Three of Pentacles. What does Taurus need to know, please? What does Taurus need to know? feeling this one oh, it's the high priestess okay there you are high priestess okay so Taurus the situation for you whether you're dealing with a group of people here someone people in the workplace people in a group setting group of friends a family here okay I'm seeing a lot of you are feeling like you are somehow challenged by these people, okay? You may feel like you're on guard all the time around these people. They're, they're may, they may be obstacles for you. This is also you standing your ground in what you believe in and who you are and what you're about, okay? You're not giving up. You're definitely making a stance here, okay? And it's not going to be easy. But what answers do you need to know here? What are the answers that you seek? Well, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So some of you feel as if, obviously, your luck is somehow faded to whatever life brings you. But you're reminded here that you have the choice to change that luck around. And sometimes you're so fixed on the fact that you think that whatever is given to you is the ultimate end all, but it isn't. And so you have the ability to change your fate. You need to take more action and be more aware, of course, which brings us next into the high priestess. And of course, self-awareness here or not seeing what's in front of you or not reeling, realizing the messages that are given to you through your subconscious, okay? You're seeing as if you're realizing something, new information for some of you. I'm getting here that there's going to be a situation that you're going to be dealing with, with these, with this group of people here, where A, you have to stand your ground firm in what you believe in here, okay? You're gonna feel as if people aren't on your side here, okay? So statistically, you may be outnumbered here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You may be alone in this situation, but you know deep down inside with your gut that you're making the right choice here and you're not going to settle and you're not going to give up here. Maybe you're gonna find out the answers to what you seek here among people around you here for some of you. For others, you may have some people on your side here, very few. And you guys are going to change things, do something, make some sort of initiative here. I'm seeing that you're gonna make things happen and you're not gonna rely on luck. You're gonna rely purely on effort 
intuition and knowledge. Knowledge is power. And you're going to not, you're going to pick your battles and you're going to stand your ground. Okay. So Taurus, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the messages here from your reading. Uh, thanks for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit notifications. Again, it really helps with the algorithm and I do appreciate any comments as well. Guys, I'll be back again soon with your love reading for July and we'll check back in again.